morning, Korea. Your sister. Good morning, everyone. It is a brand new day, and I feel like I have to get ready soon. It is 10:30 a.m., and I feel like if they're gonna do room cleaning, it would have been at 10 or 11 a.m. So I need to get ready fast and leave today. Is kind of a solo day, kind of not. My sister is going to, well, she already left. She is going to a nail appointment that is at 11 a.m. So she said it's probably gonna take two hours. Her nail appointment's in Hongdae, I believe. So I will also be going to Hongdae and I will be going to a photo booth, which was trending in Korea, but it opened like maybe weeks or months ago and it was like crowded like there'd be big ass lines i don't even know if it's all studio i don't know if there's staff in there which is awkward if i'm going alone but uh, i hope there isn't a bunch of lines now like i hope it died down and people are kind of over it i don't know but it is called don't look up so it's a little bit above the Hongdae area where we would go, like the Hongdae Street and like um, AK Plaza. So I'm going to be going there to do the photo booth pictures, not because it was like all trendy, but because it's like in a box thing. And it reminded me of Jack in the Box. They don't have Jack in the Box colors though. It's red and blue. So I'm going to choose blue because it's like kind of closer to the greenish blue that um, Jack in the Box is. And you know, if there's a line, then I could do red too. But anyways, so I'm going to go there for my Jack in the Box era. I just know the pictures are all gonna turn out bad, especially since I don't have the clothes for that vibe. So it's like, whatever, I'm just gonna do it, have some fun. <laughs> and hopefully there's no line. If I go there and there's like a crowd of people though, I am turning right back and going to the main streets. But anyways, after that I will go to AK Plaza and check out the K-pop stores there. See if they have the photo books that I'm missing, the Yoongi and Hoseok one, as you guys know in the previous haul. Hopefully they have... I don't know. And then there's another store I have here. I don't know why it's bookmarked, but it's called Doki World. And it says no business info. Oh, Ducky World. Okay, okay, okay. Those are the stores where they sell photo album stuff. So I wanted to get photo albums there and like also photo card holders. But mainly I wanted to get the photo albums for the photo strips. So that's where I'm going there for. There's two locations of that, but anyways. Oh, yes! Shit, that reminds me. I have to pack it. Also, another store in Hongdae where I think there's like a wall where you can trade photo cards. Hopefully, there's a BTS one because I have a bunch of BTS duplicates. I've been meaning to trade them, so I'll see how that goes. And then after, once my sister and I meet, because she'll probably do her nails and then shop around Hongdae for clothes, then we will be going to Gangnam. Anyways, I'm going to get ready fast before, if there is room cleaning, because they never said there was or not. Um... Before they come. OTD. Yes, it was wrinkly. No, I did not wear this yesterday, but yes, I have worn it before. I worn this dress on the first day of the full, full Japan day. Full, full, full first day of the Japan, uh, of the Tokyo, Tokyo, Tokyo day. Anyways, look how big and puffy my hair is, y'all. Listen, I slept with wet hair last night. And you're probably like, Tina, girl, why are you doing that? Even with bleached hair. I've done it twice so far in this trip. Because I, if I shine in the nighttime and I be blow drying it, it takes like years for it to dry. So literally after like 10 minutes, I go up and just lie down. Uh, let's leave. It is 10.50. Let's leave before it is over. My bus is not coming for another 18 minutes, so I'm at Yonga Station for my fave store. And I left because it's not nothing I needed. And we are finally off the bus. Time to walk to where the photo booth is. Girl! The first bus wasn't crowded, but the seats were built. But the seat next to mine was always empty. Thank God. The second bus was empty though. There was only like a few people because um, there's like a million of those buses. But that bus driver was going back and forth, back and forth. Oh my god, it was like a, a surfing. So embarrassing because on that bus though, the tap where you tap was somewhere else. Like it was a little far back from the bus driver. I was like, oh, where do we? But I said that quietly. But when I said, oh, oh like I found it, I said, hello. I feel like there are a bunch of students. <laughs> That was embarrassing. Also, I don't realize it because like I don't see my hair on me. It's so embarrassing, like, because I'm blonde. And literally everybody is like a natural black or brown kind of color. And I'm like the only blonde person unless they're naturally a blonde person. So yeah, that was embarrassing. Making my way there. On the road to the way, there's a lot of people. So I might turn around. But if the line is mainly consisting of girls, then I will stay. Oh, it's here. There was a dude in there sweeping the floor, so I left. Okay, I'm gonna make a circle, and when I go back and he's still there, 
I'm leaving. It's too bad. I refuse to go back. You probably noticed me too because I got a big fat blonde head. There's so many photo booths here. Like, I'm just gonna go to a random one, camp in it, and then go back and see if he's still there. I'm gonna go random one. If the stop comes out of nowhere, it's over. Okay, I'll probably take pictures too, to be honest. Stay here and I'll go back and see if that guy's still cleaning. There's a camera right there. I didn't know they have cameras in these things. So they're just gonna watch my ass. How embarrassing. <laughs> what my sister did last time in Korea was she took professional photos for like her LinkedIn and work profile picture and stuff. And I wanted to do that too, but I'm literally blonde. <laughs> it didn't even give me a warning. These look terrible anyways. I'm not gonna use them as my LinkedIn profile picture. This is terrible. <laughs> a lot of times people with professional photos, they go like this. <laughs> the fact that there's a camera watching me do this is so embarrassing. That's <laughs> right, I'm sorry. Terrible. <laughs> Another one. What do you think, y'all? Can any of these be used for a LinkedIn profile picture? Because I don't think so. <laughs> look at this. It looks like I got employee of the month. <laughs> Anyways. Let's just print it. I'm over it. And at least I got a QR code. <laughs> I got myself forcing my smile. Wow, everyone. Wow. Am I a loser? <laughs> okay, y'all. We're gonna go walk back to the Jack in the Box one. If the guy's still in there, I'm walking to another photo booth and doing that one. And then we're gonna walk back. If he's still in there, I'm leaving. And then maybe I'll do it another day or I'll force my sister to come with me. Because that's so embarrassing. <laughs> Group of friends gonna watch me walk out. Hold on, everyone. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, okay, let's go. Okay, let's walk together. If he's still there, we're walking straight past. But if he's there and there's other people there, then I might go in. I made it in, y'all. There was still a guy cleaning, but there's a bunch of people here, and there was like four, some foreigners, and I had conversations with them. <laughs> but everybody is like, there was locals too, and I had conversations with them. <laughs> Asking like which room did you want to go to because there's a line for blue but no line for red So I'm just gonna do red first and wait for that line to go away and then do the blue because the guy cleaning he finally left He left right after but I was in there when he was there though But it's just so many people I had conversations with them. Anyways, we're gonna do red then we're gonna do blue I'm gonna do all four pictures not gonna lie. Next. I want four cuts Four cuts. Whoa six cuts um, let's just do four. Four seems normal. Six dollars, okay. Zoom? Recommended for one to be. I don't want Zoom, sorry. I want my Jack in the Box moment. Next. And I'll pay by card. If it doesn't take my visa, it's actually over. Oh, you guys can't come in though because you're gonna ruin my picture. So I'm gonna have to leave you guys in here. Sorry. Okay, bye everyone. You're not gonna see me go in. You're not gonna, you're not gonna watch me in there, okay? Y'all, that was so hard. Um, let's see how they turned out, because I don't think they turned out good. <laughs> Look at this, what a mess. Okay, anyways. <gasps> because they take a picture on the second click, and I think I always pose just for the first one. Oh my god, I messed up. <laughs> Anyways, cuz look, I'm really just looking at the camera after I'm looking at the photo the whole time. This is literally me getting up. Yo, I wasted six dollars. Let me redo this. The air conditioning in there was great. Okay, let's see if the pictures actually turned out better. Okay, at least I posed, but it actually took the picture. Here are the pictures. Now I have to choose my best in 80 seconds. Definitely not these ones. Hold on, I'll put you guys away because I have to think. I chose these ones. The other ones you will be missed. Like, I could have chose this one too, the flower pop pose, but you know, I was like, eh, let's get a simple one, this one, because the other ones are like all posing too. Anyways, next. Whew, okay, I'm satisfied with this one. The other one was a hot mess. I spent $6 on. <laughs> wow. Yeah. 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 Literally me sitting down. Oh, it's blurry for y'all. Whatever. Uh, I'll probably add a video. <laughs> Wait, let me check if there's anyone outside. Oh, actually, let me do that later. How? How do we feel? 
How do we feel? I'm okay with it, but I still want to do the blue room. I think there's people in there though. Okay. I'm still gonna go back to do the blue one, but there's uh, someone's in there right now So I just wanted to go outside to tell you guys a story before I go back Initially as you know, I've been walking away walking away because there's a dude cleaning in there I go back and I see there's another girl in there like there's literally just him and one girl in there And she's like a foreigner and I ask her. I'm like, oh, are, are you gonna do this? Are you gonna do this? She was a little shook at first, so I asked her, um, like she, she didn't say anything, so I asked her, oh, do you know English? And she was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And she was telling me how she was just choosing some glasses first, but she didn't do it yet. And then another group of two people who are both English speaking came in, and they went ahead and did the blue one first because we were still out there waiting. And the staff was currently cleaning the red one. So, so I was talking to her a bit, I don't even remember what I was talking to her for, but then two other people came in, and they were like two locals, which was a couple. And they came in, and they were looking too, but then they lined up behind us for the blue one. I didn't know that. The staff finished cleaning, and then he left. So I was telling the couple behind me, because I didn't know, they were like looking around, I was like, I was like, there's someone, well, we knew there was someone blue one. I was like, we're lining up for the blue one, me and the girl. Um, you guys can go into the red one if you want. And they're like, oh no, we want to do blue also. So I was like, oh, well, us too. <laughs> so I just did red because nobody wanted to do red so I just went into red and I didn't want to wait in the line to be honest I was gonna do both anyways so yeah that's what I did and as you guys know I did red twice but there was no lineup for red so it's fine oh I'm in a car shop there was no lineup for red so it was fine nobody was waiting for me and I could hear the couple behind me in the blue slot uh, as I was doing the red the second time and I come out and the girl that was in front of me for blue was still there I was like oh you're still there and she was like yeah I didn't take my card and I'm guessing the machine only took Visa they didn't take any other card like MasterCard so I used my card for her I paid for her and but she gave me back um, in cash you know I told her it was okay but anyways so anyways, I'm back here now. Let's see how it goes. At least the staff is gone. That's less embarrassing. But honestly, it's less embarrassing doing things by yourself. I literally had conversations with you people. The heat rush burns! The girl in front of me who was doing blue that I paid for, she's done now, so I'm gonna go back and do it. But I saw her, she's still in the store taking a picture of her thing. So I'm gonna wait a bit. Oh god, I'm just- there's- there's another group in the blue one now. So sad. So I'm just gonna do this one. This photo booth right in front of me as I wait for them to finish. Cause at least there's air conditioning here. Outside is hot. This is kinda dirty. Is it weird if I just had nothing though again? Just got some accessories. They're literally so dirty though. Like, it's gray, but I'm still gonna use them. I didn't realize that all these photo booths had a camera in them, so this is kind of embarrassing. Anyways, as I was picking them, I was like, so dirty, so dirty the whole time. And there was a couple outside looking into the photo booth on whether they wanted to do it or not, so that was kind of embarrassing, but whatever. So both of the machines are broken, and I can tell why everything's so dirty because, you know, they left this place for the dust. Anyways, let's get out of here and recheck if the blue the blue one is open, the blue box, because I need my jack in the box, y'all. Let me film the outside for y'all. That's what it looks like. It's literally one o'clock, y'all, but I need blue. I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving. I've decided to wait inside because it's too hot outside and sunny. It looked like there was a thing, but then they went back in. Let me wait. Okay, we're finally in the blue one. There was a group in there, and then a girl came in, and she went in front of me. Um, I think she was in a rush because she went to the red one while waiting But I knew she wanted blue because she was holding a big blue bouquet And then when the girls in the blue finish She came out red and she told me she was like, uh, I'm gonna do blue fast I'm guessing that's what she said It's like because I could heard her say the color and uh, fast in Korean But I, literally all I did was tell her that I'm not Korean but she went in right away She's like, oh she went in Because <laughs> uh, her car was parked outside too So I could tell she was in a rush Anyways, and she had like a blue bouquet Anyways let me do blue. This time though, I got two accessories. So I'm gonna try each of them for two shots and then everything else is just me. Personally, I think the poses were terrible. <laughs> well, let's see how it is. I think inside it looks bad, but since there's a flash that you don't see, it looks better. Okay, let me choose, I got 80 seconds. Ooh, girl, that was hard work. <laughs> okay, they turned out better than I thought. Hmm, it's okay though. I couldn't post like J-Hope though, obviously. And I, to be honest, I didn't really remember the post he did. And I wish I had his hat too. In there you can literally see me open the door and throw the glasses. <laughs> okay. What do we think? This dude's voice is outside, I'm scared. Okay y'all, and I am finally done, and finally out of here. I'm sorry if I hit with it. If y'all are gonna go here, I recommend doing six cuts instead of four cuts. I don't know why. Four cuts, I think, seem more clean, but six cuts at least is square, like how the room is square, you know what I mean? 
I don't know, it's up to y'all. But anyways, I like the six cuts better than the four cuts, to be honest. And now I'm going to make my way to 8K Plaza, which is a nine minute walk away. Even though on the map, it looks super far away, but nine minutes isn't that much. Cause when we're in Japan, they be saying 20 minutes, 10 minutes, 12 minutes, but the walk be like three minutes long. Anyways, bye. And we have arrived to A&K Plaza. If you guys tuned into my first Korea travel series, you would know that I've been to A&K Plaza. That's where the K-pop store is. I don't really like that K-pop store, not gonna lie, because it's more expensive than the ones in Myeongdong. And the BTS DVD selection, there is none. Um, but I'm gonna go back. Uh, if you guys tuned into the series, you know that I loved the strawberry latte there. So I'm gonna go into the K-pop store, go to the cafe in the K-pop store first, and then shop around the K-pop stuff. Cause you know, maybe they might have something that I want now. Jeez. I don't feel like embarrassing myself tonight. I'm on the fifth floor right now, there's anime stuff. It's looking like mainly One Piece though. I don't watch One Piece, if you didn't know. The store is not on the fifth, fourth, or third floor. So it's on the second this whole time. I don't believe it. It was on the second floor, y'all. How embarrassing. Here it is. And the Samarong Cafe is right there, but I'm not gonna go. I'm just gonna go straight into here. The cafe is closed. So I guess I'm shopping. And it was a flop. Didn't have anything I wanted, but also like the price is like, as I told you, more expensive than those mango. It also flopped though because the, the cafe was closed. And I went to the cinnamon roll cafe. There's people in it and there's like tables, but you had to put in your phone number on the iPad and wait 15 minutes. But I feel like I could have just went in, but I don't know. I don't have a Korean phone number, so. There's the BT21 store we went to last time. I will not be going though, because we're going to Gangnam later. We saw a guy try to get something to a girl. And then I was trying to go inside Coco's, but the guy tries to give it to me after some circle sticker. And I just shake my head and walk away. Now I can't go to Coco's because he's... Oh, he's capping! <laughs> I don't know if it's because it's the morning, but it's kind of empty. And I feel like there was more people last year. I'm gonna go here. We went here last time. It was like a bunch of stationery. But there's a cafe and lounge on the third floor, so I'm gonna see if it's uh, empty in there. And I did not get anything because the menu was in Korean. And there's only like two pairs of people there. So here I am, sitting in front of the store. My sister just came back with her nails! Wow! <laughs> Look, it's the Whoa! You didn't get any BT21. I just told her freestyle. <laughs> what? You, like you didn't even say Samuel or anything? No, I said Hello Kitty and Marmelli on uh -oh. my thumbs, and then these flowers wow. and then everything else. I wasn't sure, so I just told her to do whatever she Beautiful. wants. Beautiful. Was... We are at BBQ Chicken. Is this the same brand as the one in? I think so. It's the same logo as us too. But this one looks like more options, and I know it won't be dry because as you know, the chicken Korea is never dry. Yeah. Oh, hi. Beautiful. Pizza. Chicken. How can we eat this? And we have finally got up to walk to the cave off store. As I got up to cross the street, the guy sitting there got up as well. So that scared me for a bit, but yes, he's gone. Uh, where is it? Here it is. Let's hope people are in it, because I don't want to be alone. What in the world? I thought no one was in here for the world. Oh. I have no idea who's people are. Came out for second place. Okay. Hope someone's there. A big group of people came out, so I feel like they're the last people in there. So embarrassing. I was like the only person in there. Other than two workers and one person, like, she was like opening her albums at a table that was like far away from the cashier. <sighs> it flopped for me. There was no photo cards to trade, the boxes were empty. So sad. I also found my sister's friend, she wanted an album. Ew! The FML album, that are like membered version. And we, I couldn't find that in any other cable store I went to, but this one had tons of them. So I bought one. I also bought a La Seraphim one, the Yunjin version for Unforgiven, the one that literally looks like doo doo stains. <laughs> just because I didn't just want to buy one thing and make it look awkward. But I think this store had like the most pricey one. With Moo had $14. The Myeongdong station was like $11.70. And this one was $14.80, so it was kind of expensive, girl. The selection, I don't know, I wasn't having it. On to the next store, which is the photo album store. It was right here, the ducky store, but it's closed. 
it's only people doing construction in it. Now what? I, I knew I should have bought a K-pop store where I was alone. We are back here. Sometimes I want to not wear my mask, but the sewer smell is real here. And it kills me. Because, as I said before, Tokyo didn't have a lot of people wearing masks. Also now, they don't have a lot of people wearing masks here. But they still wear it more than they do in Tokyo. Anyways, let's open my Seraphim album. I'm gonna do it in public. In public. Embarrassing. I'm gonna open up here because you know I'm not gonna do it on TikTok. I'm not gonna unbox my Seraphim on TikTok. And to be honest, it's like why am I even opening up if I already know I bought the Yunjin version? Here it is. On the internet, it looks more like poop stains, but here it just looks like brown. Oh, this is where the poop stain. <laughs> People said Yunjin is the green version. So that's what I got. I'm literally doing it where everybody crosses the street. Isn't this kind of embarrassing? If someone comes sit beside me over here, then awkward. Let me just open this fast. Okay, let's see my photo card. Do we get all photo cards or are there choices? I have no idea. This is this is the first time I bought a K-pop album that isn't BTS. So to be honest, did I really have to buy this? I think I was just feeling awkward at the time and pressured too. Anyways, let's see it. Yoonjin! Oh my god, cowboy Yoonjin! Cowgirl, sorry. Beautiful. Beautiful. Album, lyrics and credits, photo book. But I feel like I could like scrapbook with this, don't you think? Oh, we didn't get another photo card. I thought there was supposed to be a photo card and envelope. And that's it. Yup. Let's close it up. We're back at another Sarion. We are back at the Baskin Robbins we eat at at Gangnam last year. But this time they got a Hello Kitty collab, Sanrio collab. It's not focused. Oh, it's ice cream. Oh. It didn't even come in a Hello Kitty paper cup. Last time it came in a Pokemon one. Maybe we had to buy a Hello Kitty flavor. Mm. But I got this. Strawberry smoothie. To the my friend store. Babies. Glasses. But they have Sanrio plushies on our side, see? Oh. Who are these people? Tell me. They replaced the BT21. Oh, BT21 photo booth. Which one do you like better? 2D1. This one? Yeah. Yeah. Can I walk the game? I'll walk Cheese. <laughs> Hello everyone and we are back. It's actually the next day, over 24 hours ago. But here I am, I'm gonna give you guys a haul of what we got today at Hongdae and also some at Gangnam. Probably won't remember as much because this happened yesterday as you remember, so my memory is kinda gone. As you know, we started off at, we as in just me, cause my sister went to get her nails done as you saw. I started off at, don't look up photo booth. So as you guys know, you know what, I already told you guys the story happening there so if you're confused just rewatch that because I don't feel like resetting the whole thing but the outcome of that entire mess which took me two hours to do maybe more than that I have no idea resulted in this first one this first photo which was the mistake because I didn't realize you posed after the second click I posed for the first click and then I moved on to my next post so that's why it's all messed up so just so you know also just so you all remember the machine only takes Visa no cash and no MasterCard for now maybe they'll add it in later and then after I tried right again the red room again I didn't leave I just tried again because I know other people were lining up for the blue one and as you know the failure one only has four but I like the one with six better because it gives more of a square, you know what I mean? I like the square more than the vertical. And then as you know, I went back in, went back out, went back in, went back out, and went back in. And then I finally lined up and I talked to some foreigners behind me as well. And the girl in front of me with the blue bouquet, she went in first, as you remember. She actually did another try, uh, but we just pretend... <laughs> we, we just look away and let her do her thing. Anyways, because well, what am I going to say? <laughs> Blue one, which is here. And to be honest, I don't know which color I like better. You know what's kind of a mix, but I feel like I like the poses better than the red one. No. Or maybe the blue one. I actually don't know. 
I feel like the blue one is way too dark to give me my Jack in the Box vibe, right? Like, I can barely see it. But I will be posting both to my Instagram, hopefully soon after this vlog is posted. So if you want to tune into my Instagram, uh, there it is, yep. Okay, and then after I went on an adventure to do my own thing, I went to With Moo and AK Plaza. Nothing I wanted to buy. The BTS extra selection other than their albums. Nothing I wanted to buy. Then I went to the Hongdae Shopping District District Street. As you know, I went to another K-pop store. No extra BTS stuff I wanted to buy, but I did find the 17 album that my sister was looking for for her friend, which is this one, uh, which I believe, as she told me, is members version. So it's like around a member version. This one I literally could not find anywhere. Like, like I went to three K-pop stores in Myeongdong Station. I went to one K-pop store in Myeongdong that had the Proof Collector's Edition. I miss her. And I went to another K-pop store in AK Plaza, which is with Moo. None of them had this, but this store did have this, which was the Midam store with barely anybody in it because it's kind of like in a smaller street, um, but big building. So, but anyways, yeah, it was kind of awkward, but whatever, I bought it anyways. Um, and because it was awkward and because I was the only person there, I didn't just want to buy one thing, you know? I bought the Seraphim album, Yoonjin version, as you guys saw I unboxed it previously. Uh, what the hell am I gonna do with this? <laughs> I don't know, like my shelf is just BTS and BTS only girl, like what can I say? Um, and this, this, like this, the back here, this looks like a doo-doo stain and everyone on Twitter keeps saying it looks like a doo-doo stain so I feel like it's engraved in my mind that this is a doo-doo stain so I don't want a doo-doo stain. Oh, but to be honest, it's green, I can just flip it like this and it's fine, right? Anyways, I'll find a way to make it work, but um, yeah. And again, I, I probably mentioned this previously but I don't remember, but as you know, that store was pretty expensive compared to other stores, though, in terms of their album pricing because that Le Seraphim album was $14. Meanwhile, in Myeongdong, it was $11.70. $11 Whereas in AK Plaza, it was around $12, $13. I don't remember, but just so you know, Myeongdong Station is the one. Anyway, so as I was doing all that, my sister was out clothing shopping on Hongdae Street. We kind of split off because I went to the K-pop section and she went to the clothing section. <laughs> she got a lot of things. So let me show you. She got a Pachaco pajama set, which had a t-shirt top, the like kind of t-shirt, button up though, and long pants. I have no idea where they are. And they also came with shorts. Was it $20 or was it $50? But three, three different clothing articles in one. That was pretty crazy. I thought that was a steal. Dress. Is this new? I don't know because there's a piece of hair on it. And she also went to an accessory store again. And she bought scrunchy, scrunchy, scrunchy and rings. After my sister and I met up and we decided to do some photo booths. We were going to do them together but we ended up doing it solo because it's like these are the same frames that we've seen before. But my sister wanted to do solo especially because she wanted to do a Sanrio theme with her nails that she got. So here's her pictures. She tried to show her nails by doing that and holding the flower and holding the things but her nails did not show up in the picture. And I, myself, did one as well. Personally, it was uh, not satisfying for me. And as you can see, the balloon's covering. Then, as we were going to exit Hongdae, we passed by M Playground. M Playground. Which what is like is like a four story like kind of like a warehousey container ship vibe um, that I saw on TikTok all the time and I was like oh my gosh I saw it on TikTok and and we're just walking by and we're like oh do you want to go shop there and she's like yeah so she went and shopped there as I sat outside on a rock on a rock I sat outside on a bunch of stones like it was receding I think it was a designating smoking area because there were cigarettes everywhere cigarettes and the crack of the of the stone and there were people smoking all around they kept coming smoking girl I had to cover it with a mask because the secondhand smoking was real at that time and you know what that's why y'all shouldn't be shocked if your idols are smoking understand because Asia Asia I feel like is a common place for smoking like my dad my, my father quit smoking y'all <laughs> probably his second time quitting smoking Let, let's go <laughs> anyways anyway so she got a lot of things oh. She spent a total of $119, but she got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven things. Seven things. I don't know which price is for which, but the range here on the receipt is $15 to $19, $20. She got another cropped cardigan. 
a matching um tank top because it's the same material and color with that cardigan here it is floral top and i remember she, she's been looking for some floral things but she was like only a few, few floral things hit for her whoa this is new i've never seen her buy a pattern like this before but this looks like a tiktok trending thing where they crochet and here is another one kind of that style except it's a cardigan okay here it is uh-huh she also got this 1590 15 cents and just multiply that by 1000 so 15900 yeah uh one sorry <laughs> i said yeah is this a windbreaker i don't know but it's a cropped one a cropped one there it is. Sorry, I'm not showing you all the details. This is probably $19. Oh, no, it's $15. And lastly, this one is $19, $20. Another cropped thing. Well, I'm confused. Why is it so short in the front? Did she even try this on? <laughs> Most of the times, my sister does not try the clothes when she buys it. She just kind of snatches it, and it's fine. Following that, as you guys know, we went straight to Canada. We went to Baskin Robbins first. And because we spent over a certain limit, we were able to buy an umbrella for $9. We didn't. I don't want an umbrella with Sanrio printed, you know, in Toronto. They're, they're going to believe me. <laughs> but there was also an option because we spent a limit to buy this plushy photo card holder thing. So let me show you. I already opened it, y'all. Sorry, I was eager. They come with photo cards. I was shook. I pulled Chromey. Beautiful. I pulled my melody and I pulled Pachaco. I think the chromium one was the ultimate pull because she was in like an ice cream cone. Like I feel like all of them would be ultimate and then two ice cream cone ones. You know what I mean? I don't know. I I'm just guessing. I'm just saying. Pull the card holder. Hello Kitty. Baskin Robbins. Hello Kitty. And then here is the plushie that goes with it. Oh, it's magnet. It's a magnet. But there's also like a chain thing, I guess. So it goes like this. Whoa, that's so cute. I just know someone's gonna rob me though, like in Toronto. They're gonna pull, snatch this. But I think we're supposed to chain it to it. Oh yeah, yeah, we're supposed to chain it. We're supposed to chain it here. And then this is what we use. So hopefully nobody fucking robs me. But this is so cute and I will be using. Uh, and that's it. But then after we head on over straight to the Lime Friends store across across the street but this year compared to last year had less bt21 stuff because i guess they just had a new line of uh line friends people that are like the buddy versions i guess of stealing from bt21 buddies <laughs> or mini me's whatever they're called um and there was like different people so they were taking up a lot of space and there was less bt21 so i was like oh but anyways i did buy stuff i don't think i bought a lot i bought this mini koya plushie which you can dress up. This is a costume plush. This cost me, I want to say $20. And their clothing, as you saw, I filmed it. There was a bunch of clothing items, and this cost around like $12. That's a clothing item for him. And I also got, lastly, a BT21 mini monitor. Tata one and if you guys tuned into the first series and remember, we also bought mini monitors. We bought an RJ one and a cookie one. Um and then when I got home and I installed my cookie one, I kind of regretted not getting all seven of them. But unfortunately, this year they only had Tata one left. They didn't have any other members, so I was like, oop. But whatever, I just got him anyways, even though I don't have all seven. Let's dress up the Koya. Koya, he's got undies. Why? Oh, I can take off the undies. <laughs> I can take off the undies. Oop. And you know what? That is so genius that they give the undies for free and like you can take them off because I've always thought when I have my builder bear that she needs undies. She needs undies, but I didn't want to buy five dollar undies for a builder bear. And thank God because this doesn't have any pants, so I was like, would it be weird? That's why I was debating on getting another set because I had like glasses and a top and pants, and I'm like, this is just one, one, one sweater vest. But I like this because it looks cute, so I got it. This is LA Koya's big brother. <laughs> And here he is, so cute. He's like stiff, kinda. Um, but I chose Koya. I had to look through them because I want a cute face. And come here, LA Koya. Come here, LA Koya. Twins. And that's that from the BT21 store. Now, last part of the haul, we went home straight after that because we had to wake. We had. We have to. Not me saying past tense because I'm in the future. <laughs> Let me say in present tense because we have to wake up 
for Busan at 8 a.m. So we just went home to go to sleep. So we took the bus and the bus, we could have just walked down and straight to our hotel, but we decided to take a longer route and go, not a longer route, but just go up instead and left and down so we could go in Myeongdong Street and see See it again <laughs> and we passed by a vintage shop and as you guys know in Japan we went into a bunch of vintage shops and thrift stores but we my sisters never got anything but she did some, get something this time around which is this hat which is $40 and this Nike jacket which is $75 cropped again and here is the rest of the PJ set I was talking about as you can see the top and the long pants plus the shorts. And how much was it? 50 or 20? That was below 20 for sure. And that's crazy. Yeah. So what a steal. And that is all for today's haul, everyone. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you in the next vlog, which is us going to Busan. And me right now, I already went. <laughs> so stay tuned and see ya. Goodbye, everyone. This is more than a crash, more than a like, like, more than a lie. Baby, I'm a making man, and I ain't giving up. This is more than a crash, more than a like, like, more than a lie. Baby, I'm a making man, and I ain't giving up. Don't run away, don't run away from the truth. Cause I'm not giving up on you. Don't run away, don't run away from the truth. Cause I'm not giving up on you.